guys, what's going on? It's in the gym with Team Massive Jones. USA style baby. Trainer some chest with the big swole bear. Hello, my name is Claude. At the Mecca of bodybuilding, Gold's Gym Venice. Special comments by the big Nevos. Hello, I'm not Claude. <laughs> Start, starting <laughs> this workout off. With the converging isolateral horizontal machine press, big spot. Yeah, yeah, I love this machine. You seem to hate it, and I reckon your tan's starting to run there too, big dog. Yeah, I just noticed just you're two days in, just a little, sweating it up a little bit. Definitely not. You had a bit of spray tan before. Definitely you went. a not natty tan going on. Right, right there. of course. It is an, it's a TMJ in the USA tradition that the it big is. dog gets a spray tan before he goes. I have to, mate. There's two have things I hate about color. this machine. Yeah. Number one is when this machine isn't isolateral, which this one is. Mm-hmm. But also, I don't like the movement pattern. You don't like the movement pattern. No. It does actually converge down a tiny bit. So that's what I love about this machine. No, well, that's why you've got no pattern. chest. <laughs> <laughs> no, the reason there why the reason why the reason why I have no chest has nothing to do with this machine. <laughs> a completely different topic of discussion. But the one thing that I don't like about that machine is the amount of stress it puts. Whereas, look the at the movement that JB is doing here. Yeah. It converges up. Yes. Mm. Yeah. So on to, on to exercise number two, a uh, another horizontal machine press. But this, this is a little time, bit more of an. It's not really an incline, but it's it, it does. The converge movement up is more bit. of a scooping movement. Yes. The Nautilus machine horizontal yeah. press and i do prefer this machine much. Yeah, the reason why we did this as exercise number two is i got off the machine exercise number one i was pissed yeah no you were you were like, like we're I'm, going not back happy. To I'm not happy with that as a horizontal press let's find another machine and being at the mecca of bodybuilding there's like 15 different variations yeah. of horizontal machine press yeah. yeah so we moved to the nautilus mm. hit ourselves another five working sets well why not mm. we're you know we're here for a good time not a short time <laughs> We were here for a short time as well, as a matter of fact. Yeah, well, there you go. Yeah. But I do I do um, prefer that this movement here on the Nautilus. The, one of the things that, that I've learned from not having a chest for many years, Big Nick, is uh, the mind-muscle connection when you're, whenever you're pressing, when you're trying to engage your chest muscle and keep your shoulders out as much as possible, you do want to actually replicate a little bit, little bit of a scooping motion. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, definitely. So you kind of, you, you almost kind of scoop you know, down and then up. Mm. Um, and I think that's why I didn't like that first movement because that kind of scoops you like up and then well, down. That's what's going to get you that big full upper chest is yeah. these kind of movements. Yeah, where they're going up. Squeezing yeah. these upper movements. Whereas and that first one, yeah. I, I, I do not get any kind of pump or get anything from that. I get more in my shoulders from that first exercise. And that's what I'm saying, yeah. Mm. A, lot of, lot of, a lot of stress through the shoulders. Yeah. But if you do have a, a, an issue with trying to build your chest and, and in particular uh, get that mind-muscle connection, when you are pressing, and in particular when you're pressing on machines, try and replicate a little bit of a scooping type motion. Mm. And that's just going to keep your shoulders back, keep your deltoids out as much as possible and keep the tension in your chest. Mm-hmm. I agree. And then we moved on to the old uh, machine uh, dip machine. Yeah, chest so, dips, baby. Yeah, but we're obviously leaning forward a little bit for this one to emphasize the chest rather than sitting upright to hit the triceps. So. Mm-hmm. That's one thing you have to do. When, you know, there's there's machines that you can actually just make little variations with your body to hit different parts of, I guess, the this movement. One, this so. one as well, another one where you're sitting forwards or backwards. Another thing you change is the positioning on the seat. Mm, so if yeah. you've got your bum right at the front of the seat, it's going to hit a lot more tricep. Mm-hmm. If you're sitting back right up against a pad, you're going to be bringing a lot more chest. Yeah. And don't get it twisted. You can't do dips and not hit triceps oh, and no. shoulders. Mm. No. But, but you, you want can, to emphasize one or the other. Or do dips more. and not hit chest. And do dips and not hit chest. You're going to hit all of those all of those muscle groups that are involved in the movement. But by making slight adjust- uh, adjustments, you can actually stimulate more or less of a particular muscle group. Mm. Yeah. Agreed. And then we moved on to exercise at number four. I started hitting some flies, baby, starting with the pec deck flies, big swell. Mm-hmm. Too As big too big for the machine, mate. No. the handles, he says. No, no, no. Mate, I've actually done, like, this is my new variation of this. this I have this my hands I've been up. doing them like this for the last two years. Yeah, yeah. It, it, I find it takes my shoulders out a little bit. Um, and I can really focus on squeezing my chest. So it's just a personal thing. Mm-hmm. Um, but I prefer to do it like that, the handles. Mm. Handles go bye bye. I don't need the handles. Your uh, your hands do look like they're a little too high though. 
But my from my perspective, sometimes sometimes like, I, like, sometimes I like to keep my my shoulders. And you see when I do my, you actually like have a look my there. You, my elbows, I'm actually keeping them low, so my elbows are actually rotated now. But by doing that, I feel like I hit more chest than when my elbows. See, his are hands up. are in line with his shoulder, which is where I think you should be. Don't you think that stimulates a little bit too much front delt, though? No, no, no. no you're for that. As shit. long as you're keeping the chest out, that's and the thing. Here you go. You can see my form's completely different. Mm. See, but have a look, you're hands, still hitting the front delt there, brother. That's true. And you, once again, you're never going to completely take your exactly. front delt out so you're of dropping, the flying so You're dropping your elbows a bit too much, and you're scooping too much for my liking. But look at that chest, bro. Yeah, it's right. Look at the styrations firing well, on way. every rap. See, more, way, more than one way to skin a cat, isn't there? Yeah, right? definitely. <laughs> <biggest boss. laughs> dropping nolly bombs right there. Skinning cats <laughs> in this bitch. Hit ourselves another five working sets. Team Massive Joe's extended hypertrophy on these pec deck flies. And i got to say, guys, when it comes to flying, I do really enjoy the pec deck flies because of the, the constant tension. Yeah, definitely. All right, and these are the pre-core machines. The one in the background there you can see is the life fitness ones. Mm -hmm. And these pre-core ones are the tits. It's one of the few... Machines that Precore actually make that's decent. The difference with that as well is I feel I can uh, isolate the chest a lot more than with uh, with cable flies. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Speaking definitely. of isolating the chest, how about this machine? Mate, we eyed this f***er off as soon as we walked in, and every time we looked up, there was someone on it. And we're like, f***ing hell, are we ever going to use this machine in this workout? Delicious. Yeah. The leverage... That's the brand name, Leverage. Was it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it says it right on the machine yeah. right there. I, yeah. I only just noticed that then. I didn't honest. even know what uh, it was. The Leverage Machine Incline Press, just a, just a, you know, th this is this is why you come train at the Mecca. Yeah. This right here is a prime example because you get these f***ing backyard machines no one's ever heard of before yeah. that are just like spot on. Yeah. And as you can see, I actually did a little bit of a... A mod. We pulled that bench in there, so Joe's got his feet on the bench there, as you can see, just to yep. flatten out the back a little bit, take that arch out of your lower back, so mm -hmm. it's going to be a little bit more of a an incline press. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, this machine was f***ing awesome, man. Mm. Awesome. And mm. look, it looks actually looks like you know Arnold welded it together 70 years ago. Mm. It's, it's definitely got a backyard aspect. Oh, to it. definitely. No, no plastic on the grips. She's all metal. It's just <laughs> black. Where are the grips? There's no <laughs> mate. This, this Good group. Yeah. <laughs> we actually had to, I think we needed chalk for the first couple of sets because our hands were so sweaty. Yeah. Being it, you know, hot as hell in Gold's gym this time of year, so. Slipping, slipping straight off. Joe's got in a, work, Joe's got in a sweat up for the first time. Yeah. 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 Long. That yeah. Mate, that's why the tan was running. Mm. Funnily enough, you guys, uh, if you if you actually pause and rewind the video, you notice that up until that exercise, I had my Beats by Dre. They, nah, that's where they actually that, went missing. That was that right there. That exercise that's where they went was missing. the final resting place yeah. of my Beats by Dre headphones. Gold, gold has lost them, them now. Lost them somewhere during that exercise. I reckon the old f in the and background they stole disappeared, them. mate. Yeah, they're gone. They disappeared. Yep. Don't know where they went. So I gold guess some, someone, someone is enjoying my, uh, there's custom, some homeless my guy. custom TMJ BBDs. Yeah, there's some homeless guy with no iPhone that is Beats by Dre and listening to that's nothing. It. And then we finished off with one of my favorite final supersets of any chest workout it is the standing above shoulder cable flies superset with standing straight bar cable pullovers for chest you've really got to focus on the pullovers though man yeah you know, a lot of people you'll see doing this they're not actually going to be hitting their they're still going to hit their lats rather than their chest which as you see joe's only got a very short range of motion which is very is small what you need to do once you start bringing it down past where joe's coming you're going to be bringing your lats into yeah. it mainly yeah mm. and you really want to you know whenever you're doing pullovers and you're trying to target chest it's about the stretch mm. it's really about you know stretching opening up that shoulder socket as much as you can getting a nice stretch through the chest and then it's a very small range of motion that mm. your chest actually contracts and yeah. is responsible for the movement. Mm, totally agree, man. And while you're agreeing, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to turn your post notifications on both on your desktop PC and your mobile so you don't miss a beat when it comes to the Massive Joe's YouTube channel where we're coming to and from Big Swole. MassiveJoe's.com. Stay massive.